Hello and welcome to Cramps, my monthly scrapbook. I've not scripted any of this because I usually do, but when I was editing this month's footage, everything happened. So I don't know how to wrap it all up. And I do a lot of reflecting throughout the entirety of the video. So why not get straight into it for once? Okay, this is July. It's July 2nd, and July 2nd means it's been officially five years since having moved to China. I just wanted to chat about what's happened so far with some clips, because I'm still too scared to vlog outside in public. Yesterday, I last minute found out there was an improv show at a pub nearby and Sammy was telling me about it. So I went down, see that? It was the RH experience and oh boy, it was good. It was so good. Here are some clips from that ha 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 roll the clips found a little bank at the edge of the Thames when the tide goes out you can actually go down and I found some old stairs and I just kind of sat and just took in what was happening obviously I'm alone a lot because I'm either working I'm alone because I don't really know that many people and I found I reflect a lot more just just thinking to myself I want to take in every single thing that happens I want to absorb it all and don't let anything go because time is going by so fast Welcome to another segment of Erica's Too Scared to Vlog in Public. In this segment, I discuss the one method that I think works. Pretend that you're FaceTiming someone. I still can't handle this. Oh yeah, look, there's Tower Bridge. And the shard. Can't point, where's the shard? There it is. There's a shard. There's a shard. I love how when I do this, I rationalize really weird things. Like, yes, if I wear sunglasses, it's not as weird. How is that not as weird, Erica? How do you not be awkward? London's a lot like Melbourne in that one minute it was really sunny and the next it's windy. Oh and also, where is this? You know how I cried throughout the entirety of last month? Well, no, she's come to visit. Yeah. 
Shame you couldn't see them because no cameras allowed. I think if there's one thing I've learned is they were really heavy to wear. So I'm impractical. I'm gonna think twice next time I say I want to wear a crown. But I never say I want to wear a crown. I, I, I think I don't know how to speak English when I'm walking in public. So I've seen nine people playing Pokemon Go in the Tower of London. That's pretty cool. Today is the hottest day of the year. It's 31 degrees outside. I have two hours till I've got to be at work. I'm gonna go sit in the park. Don't mind me. Oh. Mum, if you're watching this, I've got sunscreen on and I'm in the shade. Oh my gosh, this weather is incredible. Is Shoreditch famous for it? Or is it just the bagels are famous? I think the bagels are just famous. They have rainbow bagels. They taste an awful lot like hot cross buns. Mm. They're, quite, they're really quite good, but they look a bit like Play-Doh, I think. <laughs> this is Kirsty, by the way. I don't, I don't, oh, yeah. This is Kirsty. She's from China. No, she's, not, she's not Chinese. She's just, you, know, you get it, <laughs> you, you get it. What are we doing? We're look, at the, by the look at the sky. To Hamilton, like really into Hamilton. Hamilton, 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 is Hamilton, Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton. Well, the creator of Hamilton, Lin Manuel Miranda, can't say that very quickly. Lin Manuel Manuel Miranda, his first show in the Heights, another great soundtrack, just just so good. It's playing in London. Oh, I'm going to see it right now. I'm leaving like in 10 minutes to get on the train to go to see In the Heights. I'm... 
I couldn't film leaving the theatre because I was too much of a mess. That show broke me. <laughs> Bit of backstory, really briefly. It's basically just set in Washington Heights in New York. And it's a very, it's almost a very basic story. There are themes including what it means to be home. There are a few songs on there that got me through this move. One of them being Breathe, which is about a girl who comes home after dropping out of college. It's basically just her telling herself that it'll be okay, you just have to breathe. And when I moved here, that song was primarily all I played because I wanted to keep telling myself that you just have to breathe and it'll be okay. And there's one line that says, straighten the spine, smile at the faces you knew all your life. And oh my gosh, seeing that live meant so much. It was the most surreal experience seeing that play out in front of you and not just in your headphones on the tube on the way to work. So, despite the fact that I know no one's going to watch this, who's ever any connection to the show, but thank you. That's all I can say is thank you so much. So this is part two of Erica Meeks Internet Friends. Today I'm going to meet Ella. Probably will recognise her just because her hair is fabulous. Met her on the internet, my mother would be so proud. Say hello. Hiya. Hi, Hiya. This is Ella. Um, internet Friends. Yeah. yeah. Real life friends now. Real life friends now I've actually met. met. IRL. Very right. soft bank. You, you found it. free ice cream? You just have to tweet and then you get free ice cream. So, so we out. tweeted and now we're getting free ice cream. Just by the way, this is what happens when you, you have YouTube friends. We get our cameras out at really oh random dogs. times. I need footage of dogs, okay? It's stunning. It makes me so happy. Thank you. Oh, you did a good job. Did she? She passes the friend test. Yeah, it's a good weather for her as well. Oh, I know. Should we cross halfway? Go. Because I'm not doing the full. You'll probably see more of Ella. She doesn't hate me yet, so that's good. Because you don't hate me either, which is always a positive thing. Don't hate you. Friendship. Friends. Good as friends. Good. Go look at her face on her channel. Probably it might see my face. Unless she cuts me entirely out, and then that's, oh, yeah. that's um, cool. I'm now going to go and review her performance as a new friend and decide whether I actually want to keep her. You're going to just see, see ya. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Walk away. Okay. I'm walking. Okay. I'm walking in the same direction as so her. I don't know why I stood there. <laughs> One of the things you're taught in the IB is about the learner profiles. It's how, as a person and a student, you can be an all rounded individual. Uh, you have to be a risk taker and balanced and a carer, thinker, be knowledgeable and balanced. But there was always one that I always kind of found pointless, was being reflective. Because I always used to think, you know, what's the point in dwelling on the past when you can be looking for the future? And it wasn't until this month that I realised just how important being reflective can be. For those of you who watched my film This Very Spot, you'll know that I have found a spot that means something to me. Well, at the end of this month, I've realised I've got a new spot and I found it at the beginning of this month and I've been going back to sit and be. So on the banks of the Thames, as the sun sets and the tide is low, I'll just be. And I think that is what I learnt this month. It's the importance of just being. And however pretentious that sounds, welcome to Cramps, <laughs> where I completely rip off all monthly pretentious scrapbooks. I'm gonna give you these weird bits of advice. Sometimes you just need to exist and to appreciate absolutely everything. Sometimes things make a full circle.